I'm going to go through a couple of different examples of filling out GM forms. So you're going to start from the My Sites page, click on your site, click on Biennial Report, and then click on Create New Submission. It will ask if you want to upload a flat file or continue to data entry, and you want to continue to data entry. I would recommend that you do not bring forward the data from the previous year. Um, it just, there's a lot of risk for making mistakes. So um, I'm, I'm not going to bring forward any data, but you can see your previous year reports on the dashboard here. You can click on the eye icon to view the information from the previous cycles. So you can check out um, what codes were used if you want to be consistent with that. So once you have a report that you've started, you click the pencil icon to go back in there and edit it. And you're just going to click on add a new GM form. So um, here's the form that corresponds with that printed copy that you may have been using as a worksheet. So number 1A, waste description, right? So we're going to go back to those instructions about trying to provide a complete description of um, what kind of waste this is, where it came from, and what is the associated hazard, um, or you know what's making it a hazardous waste. So um, for this example, I'm going to do the second line on this manifest here. And I'm going to ignore these code numbers. Uh, waste flammable liquids, not otherwise specified, alcohols, comma, acetone. Um, that's actually a pretty good description because it tells me that the thing that's making it hazardous or the, the hazard characteristic is that it's flammable or ignitable. It's telling me that it's a liquid. Um, and then alcohols and acetone, um, you know, there might be different things mixed in there. But I actually think that's, that's a pretty decent waste description. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then the waste codes on the manifest are in block 13, D001 for ignitable, and then U002, which I believe is acetone. So we'll take those over here. And for U, I'm going to type it in instead of scrolling down. So it'll bring me right there and then check the checkbox. And then once it's um, selected and moved over here, you can mouse over and it'll tell you what that is. So yeah, U002 is the code for acetone. And for source codes, we're gonna read the blue headings first. So waste from ongoing production and service processes, waste from other intermittent events or processes, residuals from pollution control and waste management, Waste from spills and accidental releases. Waste from remedi remediation. Waste received by an LQG from an S a VSQG under the control of the same person. Waste not physically generated on site. And then that's it. So um, unless this is from a spill, it's probably product that just became unsaleable from this retail store. So uh, I'm going to choose this discarding off specification out of date and or unused chemicals or products. Of course, you should have real information and not be guessing, but I'm just going to go with this. And then for the form code, um, we know that it's liquid and then alcohols or acetone is going to be organic. So Organic liquids. So we don't have a really specific code here for alcohol or acetone. 
So I'm going to pick W219 for other organic liquid. And then for waste minimization code, um, we also have the code list at the end of this document here. So um, you'll probably just read through once and get familiar with them and then be able to sort of choose without referring back to this. Um, not too many options here, really. And going back to the manifest to pick up the amount. We have 50 pounds. The code for pounds on the manifest is P and on the biennial report, the code is the number one. So I know it's a little bit confusing, but that's just the way it is. So the vast majority of your manifests will probably be in pounds. So there'll be a P in column 12. So part one of the GM form describes the waste. Then part two is for on-site management and part three is shipping. So I know that for most generators here in Hawaii, you're shipping all of your waste off to the mainland. You're not managing it yourself on site. So you're just gonna skip over part two and complete part three telling where the waste has been shipped off to be managed. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the management method code. So remember this is line two that we're looking at. And so I'm gonna look for line two down here H141, and I see that there's no alternate facility, so I know my TSDF is going to be the one in number eight, which is right here. And now I need to put in comments here because I use this other organic liquid code um, just to say what it is. So I can label it W219 alcohols acetone. And then I would just go on and fill out the rest of one GM form per waste stream.